St George's in many ways over the years has led the way in paediatric intensive care. The care delivered is outstanding. Our teams perform to the highest level. It's an absolute privilege to look after some of the sickest children from across our region. People are really committed to their work and really committed to caring for the patients. Our goal is always outstanding care every time, but along the way we're meeting challenges day in, day out. We need more beds to accommodate those patients because we do not want to refuse those kind of referrals. The facilities we built 20 years ago met our needs then, but they don't meet our needs now. The biggest challenge that we have at the moment is the lack of space and we have very limited beds. We spend a huge amount of time juggling our beds and working out when a patient needs to come to us, how do we fit them in? There's not really much room at the bedside for families either to be with their child. We have to get changed around the back and then obviously the consultants walk in in the morning and all the nurses are changing around the back. We need people's help to change that environment so that that matches the care that they receive. This is absolutely not just a lick of paint and brightening up our facility. We're looking for complete change and expansion to bring our facilities up to 21st century standards to match the outstanding care delivered by our teams. Families also, they need a place where we can be able to talk to them one on one. And the current environment we have for them is well, which is quite inappropriate, especially where we're giving bad news. Ari, you know, our first son, there's not a day, there's not a minute, there's not an hour that goes by that we don't miss him. I'll never forget that last moment of being able to say goodbye in a private way without beeps. There were no more beeps, the beeps had stopped because, because he'd gone. It was so peaceful and, um, you know, we'll never forget that time. But we'd never forget the care that we were given. I wish that no one ever has to go through that experience. But if, if everything around you is prepared to allow you to focus on that child and for you and that child to have that support, it's really important. The difference the money will make to providing that type of comfort is phenomenal. By being able to deliver these changes, it's going to make a massive difference to the children, their families and to our staff as well. It's about the way it feels too and I think and sometimes that is about not just giving it a facelift but really improving the standard. We need more space also for families. We don't really have a family accommodation. Um, the one that we have is so limited and can only accommodate two families. My plea is that people get behind us, that people understand that we can't do this all by ourselves and that actually to provide the excellent care we really need this environment to change and we need people's help to do it. They are superheroes, they are saints, they're amazing. They've saved her life several times, but it's not good enough. They're so well-trained and special people. They, they deserve the best, absolute best. And I think we need to raise this money immediately. Every week that goes by, some poor parent is sitting in those god-awful rooms. It's, it's, it's unimaginably uncomfortable, especially if you with your sick child. This needs to happen immediately. I want Georges to have the best paediatric ward, children's ward in the country, if not in the world. What are we waiting for? <laughs>